I'm going to start. Sorry, it's not that funny. Well, they, these guys get up. So last year, uh, we lost a faculty member, and I was thrust into the uh, podium of the Wind Symphony uh, to conduct. And unfortunately for me, we didn't have an oboe player. So what I did was I rewrote all the oboe parts for Spencer Day to play on the soprano side. So we came across this one piece that we wanted to play, the whole group wanted to play, called Pineapple Pole, which was a Gilbert and Sullivan opera uh, compilation, I guess you could say, of the instrumental music from these operas, and really some of the vocal music from the operas as well. And um, I went to Gary, and at, at that time, last spring, Gary was a very busy guy. He was uh, uh, associate dean of this school, which is a lot of meetings, a lot of uh, all that kind of administrative, uh, I'm going to say nonsense, uh, and uh, teaching. He was teaching music theory, teaching oral skills, and also teaching harpsichord lessons and tutoring students in theory. And I said, Gary, could you find the time to come and play oboe with us for this one tune? He was there every single rehearsal. He was there whenever I needed him. He showed up to the concert, after the concert. He was just so happy to have played. He shook my hand and said, thanks for asking me. I really appreciate it. And I shouldn't say that to him. He is just so giving, just couldn't couldn't say no, couldn't say no, and wanted to be there and help you out and be supportive. And so for me, an administrator, that says it all. That says it all for me. And uh, I'm going to miss that man terribly. And I've been missing him all day. I think I have a couple more students who want to tell us. Want to tell us? Yeah. This is Tim, Tim Hannock. Tim is a, um, I'll introduce you. Yeah. A clarinet player, came as a clarinet player has played uh, bass bugle in uh, drum corps, and now is a tuba major here. But in this band, he plays piano. <laughs> so he's a very talented individual. Anyway, here we go. Last semester, um, as some of you may know, I had a lot of trouble with my knees. Um, I wasn't able to walk or move or do much of anything. Uh, and I was not doing well in my classes. Wasn't able to get to my lessons, because Tuba is a very hard instrument to carry around when you're on crutches. Um, so one day, I was hobbling around River Campus as usual, and Dr. Miller pulled me aside and said, step into my office and we'll have a chat. And we talked for over an hour. He asked me how my knees were doing, you know, what the diagnosis was. At that point, I didn't know. Um, and we talked about my knees, and he asked me what all the staff and everybody at the River Campus could do to make it easier for me to get to my lessons, to just get around and you know have as successful a semester as I could. Um, and a lot of the stuff that we talked about went through. And as my knees progressively got better, as you see, I'm walking and doing all kinds of things very well now. Um, but as the semester went on, he checked up with me regularly, asking how my knees were doing, and just making sure I was okay and getting around fine. I'm not going to forget that ever. A lot of, he took a lot of his time to make sure that I was okay. And I just find that incredible. 